are here at ABC Family's 25 Days of Christmas right. Party. What made you really want to come out here today? Um, well, I love New York. I've only been here a couple times, so that was super exciting. Um, I've never been to the Rockefeller Center, and I've never been ice skating. And I love everyone here. I love the, all, all the cast of all the shows. They're so cool. And so just to be in New York with everyone is really, really fun, yeah. And you guys have a Christmas episode coming out tomorrow. What can you really tell us about it? Um, there's a lot going on. I think it, it picks up where the season finale ended. Um, you see Callie and Brandon dealing with the repercussions of, uh, of their kiss, and I, I think it's, it's kind of a cliffhanger. You don't really know what's going to happen between them, uh, but he has a flashback. Brandon has a flashback, and the whole episode kind of takes place uh, like two months back in time, just after Callie's found out she hasn't been able to be adopted for the first time. Uh, and so I think you get a, another look into their relationship. You get a look into uh, Lena's relationship with her family. She has a brother that we didn't really know about. And we also find out, you know, a little bit more about uh, Annie Potts' character, Steph's mom, and uh, and their kind of relationship and how they're related to, uh, you know, her ex uh, who died. And so, yeah, there's a lot going on. It's crazy. <laughs> I was going to say, that season finale, that ending with uh, Callie and Brandon, oh my gosh. Oops, yeah. <laughs> so now what is going to be happening in the next season? Um, I mean, for Callie, it was such a... Um, a kind of instinctual move. I think that she was kind of seeing her world falling down around her and he was kind of just this this salvation for her in the moment. Um, whereas for Brandon, it's much more calculated. He's in a really good place. He's got his band. He's got Lou, you know, a potential love interest maybe. Um, someone who's very different to Callie and, and you know, not, you know, doesn't have this, the same damage, definitely damaged, but a different type, <laughs> different variety. Um, so I think that he really is kind of reluctant and you see them kind of dealing with that and, 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 and you know, will they undo everything? Because it's been a process. It's been like months of them trying to redefine their relationship and so, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> so I did see this trailer for a Team Beach movie too and it looks oh, pretty yeah. crazy. So can you tell us a little bit, anything about that? Yeah, it's fun. I think that it's, it's like... A, Teen Beach one, but uh, just more of everything. Um, the dance numbers are insane. They were so much fun to film, and they're so incredible. I'm so proud of them. Everyone worked so hard on this film. The conditions were really intense. It was really hot. It was raining. We were doing a ton of night shoots. Everyone was completely exhausted, but I'm, I'm just, I'm so proud of everyone because it really is going to be incredible. I'm really excited to see it. Uh, since our website is called Slub Secrets for You, is there like a behind-the-scenes set secret that fans really wouldn't know? Um, behind the scenes set secret. I don't know. I don't know if I can tell anything. We're not that interesting. We're pretty boring. We work really hard. <laughs>